What's up guys, Aria Edits here and I've got another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to use the muzzle flashes effectively in action scenes to make them look a lot more professional. Uh, I started off by downloading this clip from the internet, as you can see there are no muzzle flashes on here and um, with a bit of editing, as you see, this it was the uh, outcome, if I just play this through. And uh, it looks really realistic and it's very, very, very easy to do. Um, so what I'm going to do first is delete. Uh, what do we want? I'm going to delete this, this, and this. So we're starting from scratch basically. Um, what we're going to first want to do is once you've got your footage, you're going to want to motion track it. Um, I've got a tutorial on motion tracking. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. Um, so now you'll know what we're up to. I've motion tracked this. Um, as you can see, all the tracks on the shot here, and I have a um, solid that's tracked to the scene. As you can see, the solid's up there, and it's tracked with it. And um, we're going to be using that later on, so I'm going to hide that solid. But first of all, you're going to want to get your muzzle flashes. Um, I suggest you get green screen um, videos of muzzle flashes. As you can see, I've got one here if we play through it there it is what we're going to want to do first of all is um, key the green out of it and this is really easy to do you want to make sure the layer is selected hit effect hit keying and then uh, I like to use key light and what we're going to want to do is go to the screen color select this and just click on the green and it will go away straight to it it's really easy this um, next part what we're going to do is we're not really going to mo uh, motion track the muzzle flashes because they're on for as you can see they're only on for one frame so it'd be pointless motion tracking them what we're going to want to do is go to the time in the clip where the gun cocks back as you can see there the gun has just cut back right there so that's where we're going to have our muzzle flash so we should bring our muzzle flash clip up to that bit in the timeline and we'll hit S to scale it down, just scale it down to an appropriate size and we're going to want to position it just at the gun there so now as you can see, if we play this through it's already starting to come together now this um, clip of the um, muzzle flash that I've got here actually has some small particles coming off of it but um, we're going to be making our own smoke anyway so it doesn't really matter so we've got a muzzle flash there, you can also put it onto the other gun I guess if you want just by hitting command D and moving one down a bit and then what we're going to want to do is go through the clip again and check it, the gun cocks back again there so command D at that bit bring it over and make sure you reposition it and then go through the uh, timeline again it, co it cocks the gun back there again so we're going to hit command D and we're going to bring the clip there so as you can see we've got the muzzle flashes on each bit oh sorry I didn't reposition that one okay there so that's great so that's looking okay so far um, next thing that we're going to want to do is add the smoke into it and this is where the motion tracking comes into it because as you can see if we add the smoke onto it I'm just going to show you right now I have a smoke clip that I downloaded from the internet here let me just Put this down. Okay, that's fine. So this is the green screen. So what we're going to want to do again is key out the green. Once that's done, um, the smoke is actually rising upwards. So that's just what I downloaded. So I'm going to hit R for rotation. I'm going to tilt it 90 degrees so the smoke is traveling that way. Now, if I keep the smoke here and I'm traveling through the clip, as you can see it's not motion tracks it doesn't look realistic at all so what we're going to want to do is make it a 3d layer and um, we're going to want to parent it to the track solid or uh, if you've um, motion tracked it and you've got a null then you just track it to the null it makes no difference but once we've done that as you can see it the smoke will stay static to the shot which is great this is exactly what we want but what we're going to want to do next is reposition it and we're going to want to bring the mask tool up here and we're just going to want to mask a bit of the smoke out uh, go into the mask options here if you can you can just hit M it'll bring the mask up and we'll have a look at the options what we're going to want to do is just feather it out quite a bit that seems about right I'm going to actually make the mask smaller I'm going to scale it down so we're going to go to the bit where the guns are 
so the gun, the start of the first shot's there. So that's where we'll bring the smoke in. And then he, the this uh, person in this particular shot moves back and further back. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to change the shape of the mask. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, as you can see, the mask path here, the shape of it. We're going to hit a keyframe on there, and then we're going to bring it through to the next shot. And we're going to, uh, what we're going to want to do is reposition this mask. We're going to bring it back further. We're going to go to the last shot, which is we'll just leave it there, and we're going to bring the the, ma um, the mask outwards there too. Uh, we don't need to move that too much actually just like so so if we have a look at the mask now it will move further back and the smoke will be coming out of the gun and it'll look a lot more realistic so if we um just click off that and we have a look at it now you can see the smoke will be there and it'll just be lingering in the end it looks a lot better like that um but what we are going to want to do is um fade it in because as you can see the smoke just appears straight away so to do that we'll hit T on the clip, it'll bring up the opacity. We want to keyframe the opacity at the first point. Actually no, we'll bring the, the clip back a, a few seconds. And we'll keep the frame, uh, uh, the opacity at 100% there, bring it back. And we'll change it to zero. So as you can see it will slowly fade in. So I want it to fade in there. And maybe I don't want the opacity at 100, maybe about 50% seems about right so let's just play this through let's just so we can get a look at it that was perfect that's fine so as you can see the smoke is lingering there and it's motion tracks of the shot so even though the camera is moving the smoke is staying in the same position and that's all there is to it really for um, muzzle flashes of course you can um, go to the track itself and you can add um, a color correction to it if you have um, the red giant mojo the magic bullet uh, mojo that is great for shots like this just add that onto it and you can mess about with all the settings if you like um, it makes no difference it's what uh, it's personal preference really but what I also did um, is I made I made a solid um, I changed it to black There. and once I've made the solid I then got the mask tool here and I made this oval shape go into the mask options on the solid invert it and then go into the, uh, the advanced options feather it out quite a bit and then also bring the expansion up until it just covers the edges of the screen and that helps give it this um, this like grey dull a gloomy action look and it looks a lot better so as you can see I've spent only a few minutes editing this and um, it's coming together quite well obviously I could spend a lot longer a um, lot longer on it um, just to touch it up and make it look even better but um, you get the basic idea of it if you've got any questions just ask um, and I will reply to them but apart from that please like the video and subscribe thank you